See you, Mac. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Good to see you again. Yes, it's probably been a year and a half since we did our last video about LabViva and your company recently announced new funding. So this is perfect timing to do an updated video. But um, let's let's dive into to LabViva, which is a perfect use case for AI and life sciences. So let's talk about the company and what you guys do. Well, uh, in a nutshell, we are a platform for procurement and purchasing in life science uh, vertical. We heavily uh, leverage AI applications and algorithms to help facilitate many of the uh, you know, services that we provide for our customers. But uh, we are supporting uh, highly sophisticated search and queries into anything from a chemicals, uh, antibodies, media, to consumables and instrumentation that is used in laboratory. Uh, purchasing of those products through the most optimal channel, whether uh, those suppliers are, they provide the best pricing or best fulfillment uh, parameters in terms of uh, shipping um, timelines and delivery dates. And then finally, there is an inventory management uh, system that uh, basically as those products are received at the loading dock, it already has an uh, awareness and knowledge about those products, where these products need to be stocked. Uh, there are uh, environmental health and safety requirements, uh, uh, you know, that can be uh, followed. And uh, uh, and then as those items are consumed, it provides recommendations in terms of when and how to replenish those those items. So if you think about it, it's like a complete uh, integrated platform from discovery of the right products, finding the most optimal channel for purchasing, and then managing those items and stocks and managing your uh, supply chain in a most efficient manner that reduces waste, reduces um, you know, delays and uh, disruption in the flow of the uh, uh, work that could potentially impact research or pharmaceuticals uh, daily you know, production. Well, as I hinted in the beginning of our conversation, uh... There's a new round of funding. So let, let, let's talk about the details behind that. Yes. Uh, so, um, you know, as we have uh, really gone through um, our, uh, our Series A and have established a very strong product market fit, uh, uh, we felt that now we are really ready to scale the business beyond uh, the core uh, uh, you know, customers and uh, suppliers that we have already established. No need to say that while while we say core, uh, we are currently um, have uh, acquired customers across very large pharma, like top you know good number of top twenty pharma, very large university systems and academic and higher ed organization uh, research organizations that are our customers. Uh, so we feel that now it's time to really put uh, pedal to the metal and uh, go through that sort of accelerated phase of uh, phase of growth that requires expertise uh, not just capital but expertise that can help us um, you know be set and be ready to uh, execute on our uh, expansion and our scaling uh, strategy uh, so when we uh, decided to start our series B we had tremendous interest uh, from um, yeah, series B and series C type uh, uh, venture capital, as well as there are some private equities that we're really, really eager to um, uh, participate. Uh, we settled on 53 stations, uh, namely because of uh, the entire Prescott organization and expertise that they bring to table. Um, uh, they view 53 station as a sort of a early stage fund for their uh, you know later stage uh, you know investment activities, so they have a lot of expertise and a lot of know-how within the organization that can help uh, companies like LabVivo excel and grow uh, in a most uh, you know efficient manner, uh, capital efficient manner, but also through their network within healthcare and life science organization help us uh, identify talent. Uh, identify business opportunities and, uh, you know, execute on our promise. So now with the funding, looking ahead, you mentioned growth. So what do you anticipate this year looks like for, for LabViva? 
Yes, yeah, so uh, we've been uh, fortunate enough to really double our revenue uh, since since our inception. Uh, that also includes this year, we doubled our revenue in 2024 versus 2023. And we are actually expecting more than double two and a half time uh, our revenue in 2025. So there is a, you know, we have a very uh, promising pipeline of uh, large pharma, uh, biotech, uh, you know, CROs, uh, you know, um, contract research organizations, contract research manufacturing organizations, as well as higher ed organizations. So we are expecting to, you know, expand uh, our revenue uh, significantly this year as well. So what's the culture like working at LabVivo? What's the day-to-day -day working environment like? So, you know, we are still a, a young company. Uh, we are still uh, in very much, uh, we are still a family and treat everyone uh, like a family. So uh, we try to create opportunities for them to learn, uh, uh, create opportunities for people to be challenged. Uh, at the same time, uh, focus on uh, you know, work-life balance. Uh, we've had uh, uh, actually like four uh, lab fever babies uh, in, the, in the past uh, few years. And uh, to the point that we have like onesies with lab fever branded stuff that we sent to all our uh, newly uh, new parents. Uh, so anyways, no, I think, uh, I think it's a very uh, people centric environment uh, that uh, we, we look at, uh, you know, creating an environment that everybody feels that they're challenged and they're rewarded and uh, they have a, they have a you know, work life balance. And what functional areas they anticipate hiring for? So as we are scaling and going through the next phase of companies, uh, you know, uh, journey, uh, we are looking to continuously expand our uh, product platform. Uh, so a lot of focus around hiring, uh, you know, folks in uh, in engineering, data science, uh, all AI related um, fields. Um, uh, also, as we are uh, expanding internationally, uh, supporting our uh, international implementation, so even hiring in Europe and Asia. Uh, and finally, like focusing on uh, customer service, customer success, and some of the commercial functions that are needed. Um, as we uh, as we implement uh, new accounts and sign on some uh, new major uh, clients. Regardless of market conditions, great, great talent always has options in front of them to explore. So why is now the ideal time to join LabViva? Well, we are still uh, a relatively uh, a young company. Uh, so I think the opportunities are there for people to grow with the company. Uh, we continuously uh, promote but from uh, from within, we've had extremely low churn. Uh, people come come in and they stay stay uh, stay for a while. Um, so I think uh, the environment is really uh, right for people who want to be exposed to uh, interesting challenges in an industry that is fast growing. Um, and uh, continuously uh, learn and uh, uh, grow and expand as, as the company grows and expands. Well, if you are interested in exploring opportunities at LabViva, go to their company page on VentureFizz, which has all their listings there. Go to VentureFizz.com slash LabViva, and you'll find their open positions. CMAC, thanks so much for taking the time to walk us through all the details on LabViva. And of course, congrats on the new round of funding. Thank you very much, Keith. Thank you.